who does the FBI take orders from? The Biden leaks on Twitter have raised serious questions about who the FBI reports to and who gives them orders. The hashtag Twitter files are exposing more information every day about how the government collects, analyzes, and flags social media content. It appears that the FBI is getting instructions from multiple sources outside of government organizations, such as mainstream media and corporate interest groups. What does this mean for our civil liberties? Let's dive deeper into this issue to find out. The Attorney General versus Mainstream Media Powerhouses The FBI is a law enforcement agency that typically reports to the Attorney General or the Department of Justice at DOJ. It is responsible for investigating violations of federal laws, prosecuting offenders, and providing other services. However, recent events suggest that it is could also be receiving orders from mainstream media, corrupt government officials, as well as corporate interests. This raises questions about whether or not these mandates are being used to undermine civil liberties in favor of corporate interests, social media monitoring and censorship. It has been revealed by various leaked documents that the FBI has been monitoring citizens' social media accounts closely and flagging certain posts for further review or even censorship. This includes taking note of posts that appear to be critical of a particular political agenda or viewpoint, even if those posts don't actually violate any laws. The implications here are quite concerning. If a government agency is using its considerable resources to monitor social media accounts for political purposes, rather than criminal ones, it could be viewed as an infringement on our right to free speech. The Twitter Dump and Corporate Interests the most troubling aspect of this story may be the fact that according to leaked documents, the FBI was telling Twitter executives in weekly meetings to expect hack and leak ops involving Biden's emails, a move which could easily be interpreted as a form of election interference from within a government agency. It also appears that these mandates were coming directly from corporate interests rather than elected officials, or any other representative of the people not only raising serious questions about transparency but also placing corporate interests above citizens' rights once again. Conclusion, which begs us all to ask, who does the FBI take orders from? Recent revelations cold suggest that they may get their marching orders from mainstream media as well as corporate interests, rather than the proper chain of command or representatives of the people. These events raise serious concerns regarding transparency and civil liberties.